reconnect with your partner on a short vacation because recently I did a short vacation with my partner, not to reconnect just because we hadn't seen each other in a while and we had a bit of a road trip to bring my car back. So we had a little bit of a vacation along the way and I thought there's a few things that I learnt um, for many people that are trying to reconnect on short vacations that would be really useful. Also too why I'm talking about short vacations is because for many of us at the moment we can't travel. There are some people who can't um, really leave their homes but for a lot of people who do have some flexibility in their movement they are kind of doing these short vacations away um, so this seemed like the perfect timing. So the first points are is to manage expectations and also the romantic element. I think people go away on these short vacations to reconnect and they have all these ideas of what they want it to be like and feel like and they plan you know, every minute because they want it to be romantic. It's great to have that energy and that intent, but you also need to let go of those expectations and just be present. When we're talking about reconnecting, it's really being with somebody and there, not being so busy planning and trying for it to be a certain way that you miss out on actually being present with your partner. So just manage your expectations and also don't put too much pressure on it to be and look romantic actually be present and experience the motions that might be happening between you and your partner while you're on your short vacation. Now, do things that you wouldn't necessarily do at home inside and outside of the bedroom. This is a great opportunity to explore and experiment. Maybe you're not that couple that gets out a lot and goes out for dinner, so you get dressed up and go to some fancy restaurant, or there has been something you've been wanting to explore in the bedroom, and now you might have more time and even privacy. So make sure you do take advantage of this time and really explore and experiment inside and outside of the bedroom. Now, if you have an argument, let it happen, but make sure that you resolve it. For a lot of people, they really beat themselves up when they might be the cause of an argument or they might raise something that does get really heated, but I don't think it's healthy as human beings to always put lids on our emotions and kind of stuff it inside and go, okay, I'll deal with it when I get home. Because what happens is that sometimes it can poke its head up in different and ugly ways. And that's where you see people start making those slide, what I call dagger comments, you know, those little remarks that really sting that might signify that there's something deeper going on that you've just kind of tried to control at that time, but it's really playing on your mind. So if you do have an argument, make sure that you have it. Don't feel bad about having it, but make a resolution. The resolution might even be, listen, I don't think now is a great time because we don't, we seem to be going round and round in circles, but do you think we could continue this when we get home and just kind of do what we're doing, go to the beach, spend some time reconnecting? If you are the receiving end to a comment like that, also make sure that you're honest with the person because if it's requiring you to squish things down again and you feel really uncomfortable about that and you're not going to be able to let go, then that might be the time to speak up and actually find a resolution, not being delaying the argument as a form of resolution. Now, don't get caught up in that it's a short vacation. For a lot of people, it's that FOMO aspect of, oh, we only get a weekend away, but so-and-so went here and so-and-so did this, or at the moment, especially with COVID, a weekend away is really what a lot of people can do. But you can get the same effects on a long-term vacation as you can in a short-term vacation. If you do things like managing your expectations, turning off technology, taking a break, being present with each other, then really whether you're going away for a week, 10 days, or you're going away for two, three nights, I do believe you can get the same effect on a relationship. If your intent is to reconnect, then you can get that even in a short period of time, but you need to be mindful of all these things like managing expectations, not being too busy, taking a break, being present, doing some fun things inside and outside of the bedroom, and then you may come home feeling really replenished as a couple. Now, whilst you're away, a really good thing to do before you come back is to make some positive plans for the future. It could just be things that you've been procrastinating at at home, things that you want to do together, people that you want to catch up with. Sometimes we get stuck in that rut and that daily routine, and when we step out of it, it can be a great time to reflect and look at the things that we might like to do together when we get back home. So hopefully this helps, and if you do get a chance to have a short vacation to reconnect, then I hope it's a good one. Bye.